Here at 6 o'clock, Oklahoma's Tiger King says his music has been stolen and he's filed what his lawyer calls a seven figure lawsuit. Our Evan Onstott is in studio with us. Evan, uh, you spoke with that lawyer. He says Joseph Maldonado says he owns the music regardless of who actually was singing. That's what the lawsuit contends. The Joe Exotic says that after he was sent to jail, his former musical collaborator stole his songs, re-recorded those songs, and then even sold the rights to a music label. The lawsuit says Vince Johnson broke copyright law and broke a confidentiality agreement in the process. The Tiger King's attorney says the two men worked together to write and record the music. Uh, much of it, like the song I Saw a Tiger, was showcased in the Netflix documentary. But the lawyer says Johnson signed an agreement with Maldonado not to disclose his involvement. The Milli Vanilli of it all, which we address in our complaint. Look, it, 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 who sang what part of what track isn't the issue. It's the fact that those were owned by, by Joe Exotic. And so once Joe's in jail and you got Vince Johnson and everybody else saying, ha ha ha, he didn't really sing all that. Well, that's a breach of confidentiality agreement. Record label BMG is also named in the lawsuit, as are some other smaller labels. Attorney John Phillips says that it will probably be at least a year before the lawsuit would go in front of a jury if it gets that far. Much sooner for Joe Exotic are oral arguments this month in an appeal of his recent resentencing on his murder for hire conviction. He's also requested a new trial and that motion is still pending.